Hello, my name's Chris Winchester and I'm Deputy Managing Director at Oxford Pharmagenesis. Uh, I'm delighted to be here at uh, ISMAP Europe 2013, uh, grappling with the current issues in publication planning uh, with some of the top people in the field from around the world. And uh, I think one of the issues that we are grappling with in, as an industry is the move from traditional publication planning based on clinical studies to publication planning based around more non-traditional sources of evidence such as observational studies and uh, evidence generation through systematic reviews and meta-analyses. This is an area where we've been active for a number of years now and uh, we're pretty interested in trying to understand uh, what difference our activities make in the outside world. We actually believe in communications to make a difference rather than just to inform people or to go out there into the ether. And so I for one am really delighted that my colleague Katrina undertook quite a mammoth task to understand uh, how widely used our publications are in the literature across a range of studies including observational studies and systematic reviews. So perhaps I should hand over to Katrina now. Katrina. Thank you. Hi there. I'm Katrina Turnbull. I'm a senior medical writer at Pharmagenesis. Our study was undertaken to try and demonstrate the value of systematic reviews. We took all systematic reviews, narrative reviews and primary manuscripts across three of our client accounts and we used Google Scholar to monitor the number of citations they had received to date. And what we managed to show is that systematic reviews have more than three times the amount of citations as both primary papers and narrative reviews. We then went on to show, um, we can see the spread, the distribution of the number of citations they received and of course systematic reviews are way up here. Um, as a further study we looked at the impact factors of the journals they are published in and we showed that far and away systematic reviews are published in higher ranking journals which I think goes to show that systematic reviews are worth the added investment that we put into them.